All right, what's going on? Sip not new here. Welcome to episode three of the Discord.js coding bot coding tutorial. And in the last episode, we went over making ourselves a command handler, meaning that we separated our commands into separate files, and that will keep everything simpler. In the next episode, we're gonna get into some better commands. But for now, what we're gonna be doing is, as promised in the last episode, we're gonna show you guys how to set the status of the bot into different into something fun and better to well, work with. Uh, for example, you can go ahead and do streaming Minecraft or Minecraft in this point. Uh, at this point, um, it can be listening to Minecraft. Uh, it can be uh, watching Minecraft. You you can put this literally to. I believe, well, not literally everything. You can just make it, I believe, watching and listening. I don't think there's much more than that. I believe there's a thing called streaming, but that's about it. Like, if I go ahead and go search for search, I said activity from client user, and activity type will have watching, listening, and playing. And of course, there's streaming as well, which actually does not work. Uh, you're going to need to use a different way to do that. And what I usually do is go to my config right here, and I create a section uh, for I do. I need to put a little. There we go. Uh, I create a section called activity, if I can spell it, and I open it here. So, and then I'm gonna make, go ahead and make it set to streaming is false or true. So it can be either false or true because this is a boolean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove this bot um, set activity. So we're gonna go ahead and check if config dot activity dot um, let's say I believe streaming yep dot streaming is equals to false or let's say true first. You're gonna go ahead and do bot dot user dot set activity. And then this is where the this is where the fun part comes in. This is where you're gonna go ahead and do Minecraft, and this is also now you set the activity. You're gonna set what it's playing. Now the next part is you're gonna have to put a URL, and just like that, you're gonna have to put it like that. So what the URL is, you have to put in um, as a string. Your, a not in YouTube, but a Twitch URL. So basically, it's going to be like this. So twitch.tv slash and then the username. And this is going to set it as streaming. So if it's on true, uh, mine is already on true. So what I'm going to do here, I have another bot turned on right there. Uh, what I need to do is go to my tutorial bot. I'm going to go ahead and quickly start up our PowerShell right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that it is set to streaming and um, let's do that real quick if I go it's loaded, there we go, let's go back to discord and as you can see it's now streaming minecraft and if you click watch here it's gonna take us to twitch.tv slash username and I'm not gonna go further than that because I don't know what's in that uh, if that link really exists so basically, well, what you need to do is just basically replace username with your Twitch channel. And, well, then at that point, it'll be streaming. And this is pretty much it. So this is how to set streaming. And we're going to do and set else. If this is on false, you don't need to make... So basically, if it's not a boolean of true, let's say it's a string of true... Even if it's on a string of true, then it'll go ahead and do something else, which is going to be the bot that user that set activity, and then again you're going to just set it to Minecraft or whatever you want to. Honestly, it does, doesn't really matter what you set this one to be. And instead of URL here, you're going to be you're going to put type, and you can go ahead and do the watching, the listening, and the playing. Now the streaming again it doesn't work, and you're going to have to go ahead and uh, make sure you use. Um, you're gonna have to make sure that you use the URL type and not type type. Well, this is and this is pretty much it. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put this comment here and the, ga the, the game is going to be in the config. So basically what you can do here is you can also make another part which is saying the game and the game would be Minecraft meaning that you can go ahead and replace this with config dot activity dot game and then you can go ahead and do this the same so it's always going to be there and you can also make it so that this url in this is in the config and that's exactly what i actually did with my own bot if i can uh, if i go ahead and find it real quick sorry um uh, discord bots I'm at use and if I go to my uh, settings and then my config, if I can, I, can I open it here? Yeah, there we go. As you can see, I have my config set to here, so everything is just like it's supposed to be. So stream link, game type, watch, status, watch, stream link, and all that stuff. It's it's all in my config. But you can, you guys can always do that as well. But since this is just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it simple without using the config that much. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to make it so that we're watching Minecraft and we're not actually playing it because if we streamed it, we're going to have to watch it. <laughs> well, that that's basically that. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it so that we've set the bot status. Um, but uh, but that user dot set status. Basically, if you don't set the status here, uh, what's going to happen? If it's, it's always going to be online. So you can go ahead and there's DND &D, idle and online and as well as invisible. If I can type it, these are the four that are available. If you go ahead and go to our Discord.js here, and I believe if you go to set status, I can't type set status and if you go ahead and go to status present status dnd online invisible and idle so those are what they are if we go to discord here real quick we can go ahead and see online idle dnd and invisible so if you set it to idle it's gonna be idle online is gonna be online dnd is gonna be this and invisible is literally just gonna say that your body is, is offline but it's secretly online and that is a pretty cool feature and um, so i'm gonna go ahead and set it to dnd so because you're watching a video you can't let people disturb you so we're gonna go ahead and set it to do, do not disturb so we're gonna show you guys that right now and we'll go ahead and turn this to false so that we get to see the dnd um part of the thing so this is still streaming and i think because i forgot to stop the bot and the bot i, I don't think it's going to update instantly I don't think it's good. Yeah, it's not going to update instantly. Um, we're gonna have to wait for the bot to turn off first. And uh, once the bot is turned off, and uh, I'll come back to you guys and restart the bot. All right, so we're back and it took around a minute or two. And now the bot that is offline here. So we can go ahead and start our bot now. And uh, as we see, as you can see, it is now watching Minecraft and is, is set to do not disturb, just like we want it to be. And that is exactly what we wanted to do. To do. And what you can do, uh, what you can do to further improve this, uh, is that you can go ahead and create a command where it's going to set this, literally set this, to exactly like you set it to in with the command. So basically, to do that, you're gonna have to do that with the thing here, with our. Uh, config here. So here's an example of what I mean. So let's, I have Ahmad use here and uh, the, the prefix for this is this. So if I do settings and then I'm going to go ahead and set streaming to false, it's technically going to change it to false. And as you can see, it's now watching help. And I'm going to go ahead and do uh, settings. Um, we're gonna, I think, I believe it is set type. And from watching, we're going to set it to playing. So now it is now playing. And we can also do um, set game to, sorry, um, it's actually settings, set game um, tutorial. And 
you can you can go ahead and improve this to as much as you want. You can go ahead and set this using your config. So if I actually go to my config right now, it's actually fully updated. Uh, if I go ahead and put this onto my thing here, as you can see, it's fully updated. As you can see, it's completely gone, uh, completely messed up the uh, what's it called the style of it. So I I don't know actually how to actually fix this. So actually, where I do, I don't beautify. There we go. Uh, it should beautify it. There we go. So you can see it set this to false, it set this to tutorial, it set this to playing, and it's also set this to well online, which is well exactly how it was. So that this is how you can actually go ahead and make the command to be you can go ahead and make your command fully customizable. And the, the reason why I actually got a little bit all over the place, it's actually because um it's JSON stringifying something will actually mess up the style of it, which is a little bit unfortunate. But anyways, hope you guys can find this very video uh, helpful. And uh, if you guys want to know how to make the command like I just did, uh, that I just showed you, then feel free to comment down live below. I'll actually make a video on it at some point. But in the next episode, I am thinking of actually showing us how to make a band command. But other than that, guys, I will talk to you in the next episode.